welcome back to another fresh episode of Elixir Talks. Today we will be diving into a question that's eternal one. To buy pre-construction or resale when it comes to your next home. Both options have their unique benefits and drawbacks. And today we are going to explore them together. First, let's discuss the bright side of buying pre-construction. It allows us a certain level of discretion on the layout and floor plan elements of the property. As long as the builder has ability to customize the layout in their project offering. This gives you some flexibility to make the kitchen updates and materials used to build cabinets, countertops, bathroom updates, flooring selections for hardwood, as well as high traffic ceramic or porcelain areas. Since the pre-construction home is built as of date, it would have construction done based on updated and recent development codes of the city. The home will have the right insulation, better energy efficiency, including windows and modern construction elements like white plank hardwood flooring, etc. The things which are more relevant to the current market. It would have more recent technology to support the heating, cooling, and HRV equipment of the home. The newer construction will attract less maintenance by design and it will be easy on your pocket after the initial expense. In the initial few years, there would be less costs and repairs which are to be made. On the flip side, there are a few potential drawbacks to consider with the new construction. Price is the most important reason as a newer home due to its younger age will bear and command a hefty price tag. And on top of it, if you include some customization in the property, those costs quickly add up as well, increasing the budget. The pre-construction projects based on the size and scope of the project would involve a waiting time from the time the project is sold to the consumers. For example, when we talk about a high-rise condo project, they would typically take three to five years to reach the occupancy phase. The low-rise freehold projects can take anywhere between one to three years for the occupancy based on the developer's timeline. There is lot of zoning, environmental and site plan approval processes which take time and lead to this wait. Consumers generally feel that older homes have enhanced charm and character in their construction style and the aesthetics which is void in the newer modern concept developments. The older properties have unique architectural elements which become difficult to replicate. Limited inventory is another big one. For any pre-construction project, the inventory or the lots available for sale are generally limited. And after that, you are left to take up what is remaining or wait for the next phase or the next project to open up in the area. The newer homes are generally built on narrower and smaller lots in comparison to older subdivisions built. This is due to the fact that as the time has progressed, the land has become prime and in new subdivisions, the economics with developers and city works when more homes are built in a parcel of land. Now let's turn our focus to resale properties and why they might be an attractive option. Prices due to the age of the property certainly would be lower than the similar type and style of home in the pre-construction space and would end up being less expensive. Furthermore, since we are not dealing with a developer or a builder, there is a room for negotiation in the resale market. This too would depend on the type of market prevalent. If it's a balanced or a buyer's market, negotiation would definitely be on the cards. Resale homes organically are in established and matured communities within towns. This has a direct impact as the amenities in the areas like, like recreation centers, parks, trails, shopping malls and plazas, police services, etc. will be already available in the area. Older properties you will observe are built on a wider and deeper lot. This gives a sense of breathability and provides more character to the entire neighborhood. 
the whole vibe of openness in less dense neighborhood can only be found in older subdivisions in greater toronto area for example you would see that newer single garage detached homes are now built on 25 to 30 feet wide lots 30 years back these were built on 40 feet lots and 60 years back detached dwellings were built on 60 feet plus wide lots the lots do matter as it's not just the frontage but also the backyard it becomes more attractive and more functional for a wider property with the real estate resale market the biggest benefit is that there is unlimited supply of inventory the resale market offers a wealth of choices you are bound to find what you want eventually as new homes come onto the market every week in real estate resale you can get what you want provided you are willing to wait if you want a home near a certain plaza library or a home backing onto a park trail or one with walkout basement everything is possible as the inventory will keep on recycling and the specific options will come for sale on the other hand the downsides of buying resale would include the older properties would typically require more maintenance for incidental expenses certain commissioning of reserve funds will give you the peace of mind when moving into a older property the older properties will miss the modern design aesthetics both in terms of materials used inside and out and also for the floor plans in modern architecture for a single family home the open concept layout is a trend in today's time this is difficult to find in older properties where the norm was to give a dedicated kitchen and a distinct living space at the end of the day your choice should be guided by your individual preferences needs and budget perhaps a larger backyard is essential for your family in which case a resale home may suit you better or you might prioritize a modern layout and design making pre construction an attractive option whatever you decide remember that our team here at elixir is available to help you in your real estate journey share this episode with friends and colleagues who might be contemplating the same question it could make their decision a whole lot easier that's all for today's episode of elixir talks thanks for joining us and i will see you soon